Hi, I'm Jared Falk, and today I want to teach you some tom beats. Now, why do we play tom beats? Well, if you're just playing a basic eighth note rock beat, just moving your right hand to the tom is going to give the groove a whole different feel. So occasionally if you're playing to a track or a song, and let's say the, the verse has a just an eighth note rock beat and the chorus something heavier, when you get to the bridge, I would consider adding a tom beat, you know, if it fits the song. Or even sometimes on the verses, you could start with a tom beat and then go to the hi-hats onto a chorus. So musically, it can sound great when played properly within the song. Uh, so I'm just going to basically teach you five beginner tom beats that you can just start incorporating into your playing. Let's just start with number one. So the only difference between, you know, a straight rock beat and that beat is I move the right hand, or the hand that I was playing the hi-hat, to the floor tone. That's it. And it makes the groove sound completely different. So let's try number two, and this I'm just going to add a sixteenth note on the A of two and the A of four. So if these are a little bit too easy for you already, I'd encourage you to try adding the hi-hat foot on either the one, two, three, four on the chord note counts or on the ands, so on the one and, two, and, three, and, four and, or on all the eighth notes. Okay, so now let's move on to number three. Okay, now if you look at the sheet music on number four, you'll notice right at the end, on the and and the ah of beat four, of count four, you'll notice two sixteenth notes on the floor tom, and that's just going to be alternating hands right, left, right, left. I'll show you how it looks. So beat 5 is going to challenge you a little bit more because we're doing some alternating sticking patterns down the toms. So I'll demonstrate it for you and then later you can take it to your kit. So there's five beginner tom beats. Next, I'd recommend you check out the intermediate tom beats that are on drumlessons.com. Now, if you're watching this video on drumlessons.com, you can download the sheet music using the links below. If you're watching it on another site, you can check the video description that has the link to the lesson page. I'll see you again soon.